well, I don't know if I had this old Chevy running last year or whether it was the year before, but it's been a while. And knowing the history of the you know, average carbureted engine, it's going to take a lot of cranking to push gas up into that carburetor. So, to uh, simplify things, save wear and tear on the battery, I'm going to just prime it. Might have to do it twice. Choke is on. Here it goes. I can't turn the key. And we got the old key. This car has had an updated ignition switch, so the original key doesn't work anymore. There you go. And there we go. It burnt up that little bit I poured in. So I will give it another little shot. bit longer but the old pump is taking its time pushing fuel up from the tank so I guess we're gonna give it another little drink I don't have any chainsaw mix handy so he's getting straight gas this time Usually, as soon as the engine starts and the pump is uh, working faster, it'll push the fuel up there pretty quick. Must be getting awful close. There's a good shot. I think that's it. Sounds a little choky. The automatic choke might be set a little rich on a warm day like today. If I can take my foot off the gas. is ready to roll. Oh yeah, it's a little rich. Look at the black smoke back there. is a three on the tree standard transmission pull back pull down we're in first gear slowly release the clutch check the parking brake it's off
try to get out of here without hitting anything. And we're good. Oh, that window. You don't want to drive far like that. Take a quick run around the yard. Maybe the wind will blow some dust off. So, pull the lever up, forward, up again. You're in second gear. You won't be seeing third gear in the yard. Maybe later when I hit the driveway. At about 85 degrees here today. Uh oh, brake pedal is real low. Good thing I checked that before I came up against the wall. Don't tell me I got a brake cylinder going bad. Obviously it's lost its fluid somewhere. Oh yeah, these hydraulic brake systems, they are just a constant source of maintenance and expense. Anyway, it runs good. The wind is unbelievable today. Just going to have a quick look in that master cylinder. Oh. Probably can't open it without a screwdriver. I will have to crawl underneath and uh, uh, grief. try to find a screwdriver when you need it. There we go. Looks like a good pry bar. I'll have to crawl under and see. I can see any signs of leaking brake fluid. Not like I haven't replaced a few on here already. It is absolutely empty. Well, isn't that just lovely? finger pincher. What can I see? Front right is good. Front left is good. So, is it a rear line? Rear cylinder? everywhere. Ah, lovely. Well, I guess all I can do is yeah, if it was a wheel cylinder you'd see oil on the tire where it leaked down. But I'm seeing well, is that something new? I'm seeing nothing. Oh. Is it possible it leaked through into the interior? I don't know. There was a slight bit of uh, fluid on the back, like on the push rod of this master cylinder for quite a while when I was still driving it. So I don't know. But if it all leaked into the interior, I think I'd have seen it by now. Unless it happened so long ago that it's dried up. What we're gonna have to do here is get some brake fluid and fill her up.